Jonathan from Rain Brothers here, rainbrothers.com. Today I'm going to go over how to build a floating intake sleeve for your submersible pump. Okay, so to build a uh, submersible uh, floating intake sleeve, um, which by the way, we will make available on our website if you don't want to, uh, to build one yourself. And the website is www.rainbrothers.com. But you're gonna need the following items. You're gonna need a six inch end cap that will fit six inch SDR 35. Um, you'll need a small piece of SDR 35. It's gonna slide in there. And you'll need a six by four a, uh, reducer um, coupling that's gonna slide over that. You're gonna need a four inch no hub coupling, uh, also called a fern co. It's gonna fit over that. You will also need a inch and a quarter tank penetration gasket that we have on our website. You'll need a floating intake assembly. Uh, this is our YZ course inch and a quarter floating intake. You'll need an inch and a quarter um, barb by uh, spigot adapter. Um, this is a PVC adapter that's going to slide into the inch and a quarter tank penetration gasket. And then you'll need a section of our Tiger Flex inch and a quarter flexible piping. And you can pick how many feet you would like, uh, but this also is available on our website. Generally, you want at least four feet of pipe. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to prime and cement the PVC into this end cap just like so and the reducer coupling on top of that like so. Okay after you glue the PVC components together you're going to make a mark on this toward the bottom and use a two inch hole saw bit uh, for the inch and a quarter tank penetration gasket. It requires a two inch hole and you're going to drill that two inch hole on the bottom of this PVC assembly. Okay, after you drill your two inch hole, you'll insert the inch and a quarter tank penetration gasket. The wider side faces out. And then you're gonna take your PVC adapter and it does help to put a little dish soap on it and a little dish soap on the gasket. And you're gonna push it into the gasket. And when, when you do that, it's gonna flare out the back side of that gasket to create a watertight seal from the inside out. This is the easiest way to adapt from PVC into a barb fitting for the Tiger Flex. All right, so now that we got our uh, barbed adapter into the um, tank penetration gasket in this assembly. Now, if you order this from us, this is how this portion of it is gonna come. Um, you'll add the Fernco fitting uh, to the top and then your submersible pump, uh, which is, needs to be either a three inch or a four inch, or if you buy a pump from us, uh, any of our pumps will work in this. But you're gonna take the base off the pump and the uh, intake screen and slide it into this assembly and then tighten these two hose clamps with a 5 16 uh, hex head driver. Uh, and this will tighten around the, the pump. The intake should be inside this pocket here inside the six inch pocket and then the uh, water will uh, flow into the intake sleeve through this flexible Tiger Flex piping and ultimately will, will hang from this uh, floating assembly up in top of your cistern. Um, so in order to get this Tiger Flex onto both the YZ course intake um, and the inch and a quarter barb adapter you're gonna to need to soften this pipe. Now the manufacturer of Tiger Flex recommends dipping it in boiling water to soften it. And at that point it will be malleable enough to slide over this fitting very easily. And then you'll clamp uh, the piping down over this fitting. This one is, is fairly easy to get on. Um, a little dish soap on here, even without softening it by boiling it, you can, you can certainly, uh, slide it on there. 
Now this, this portion of it is a little more difficult and you will likely want to boil it uh, or dip it in boiling water rather or uh, use a torch to lightly heat up this, this pipe. Um, you don't want to, of course, catch it on fire. You just want to heat it up from the inside to soften it and add a little dish soap to the uh, barb fittings here. And at that point, it should slide on very easily and, and you'll be ready to go. So again, this is the do-it-yourself floating intake assembly with inch and a quarter Tiger Flex piping. This Tiger Flex is very flexible, does not kink. Um, it's food grade material. And then using our stainless steel uh, YZ floating intake here. All of these components can be found on our website, www.rainbrothers.com. Thanks so much for watching.